We had some beautiful conditions across southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa today with those sunny skies. Temperatures getting into the upper 40s and even the lower 50s in some areas. Tonight we deal with clear, quiet and chilly conditions. So with the clear skies tonight, and the calming winds through the overnight hours will drop temperatures down uh, below freezing. We'll be down in the mid 20s for those overnight lows tonight. Weekend conditions, so look beautiful. Some strong southerly winds bring in some warmth. We'll be back to the 50s widespread, maybe even the 60s by Sunday. And then next week we have some spring showers on the way Monday through Wednesday. So we're counting out of days until spring. Spring officially starts about 430 in the morning on Saturday. So March 20th is the first day of spring, so two days until spring and we have some spring like conditions on the way Saturday. We'll see high temperatures well above average. We're at 53 for the high on Saturday. Sunny skies expected on Sunday and then we work in the chance for some spring showers coming up Monday, Tuesday and into Wednesday and then Thursday. We finally see those uh, showers get out of the area and we'll have some sunny skies with temperatures in the 50s. So through the next at least six days, so we have a three day total here of rainfall accumulations extending Monday uh, into Wednesday and some areas could potentially see in the upper Midwest upwards of three inches of rainfall again through the three days. We'll deal with the consistent rain, not necessarily looking at severe weather, uh, but uh, just consistent rainfall here as we move through the first half of next week. Again, this is through next Wednesday. Now outside currently we just deal with some sunny skies. This is our Lewis Nata live camera. Breezy conditions outside though. Those winds out of the north northeast at about 16 miles per hour. The reason why we're warmer today compared to what we were yesterday because winds were still out of the northeast yesterday, but we don't have the snowpack like we did yesterday afternoon. We can see outside here on our Lewis Nata live camera too. Uh, notice not a lot of snowfall on the ground right now, and that's allowed temperatures to warm a little bit more. So we're at 48 degrees in Rochester, Mississippi River Valley, getting in the mid 50s, 56 in La Crosse, 54 in Winona, 46 right now in Mason City. So with those clear skies, we'll drop temperatures down pretty quick overnight tonight. We'll be down into the 20s. Future track has us hanging on to the 30s. But I do think with the clear skies and still somewhat of a snowpack in some areas, we'll be able to radiate some of that heat off from the afternoon. Drop temperatures down in the 20s. Tomorrow, winds will be more out of the south, southeast. Notice high pressure starts to move to our east, so it starts to switch our winds. And we'll be back into the 50s potentially for high temperatures on Friday. Tonight, we're at 25 for the overnight low, so going a little bit below models because I think that snowpack will help us drop temperatures down a little bit. Winds calming as well. That helps conditions overnight to get a little colder out of the northeast about three to eight miles per hour. Tomorrow winds pick back up. We'll be out of the south southeast about five to ten miles per hour. 50 for the high tomorrow. Seven day forecast temperatures back into the mid to upper 50 Saturday and Sunday and then we see that rain chance coming in Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Tom.